In this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating and uh, recreating, if you will, an existing design, um, or at least our version of an existing design. Now, the artwork in question that we're going to be using is actually an existing rhinestone file uh, or an image of a rhinestone design. But this process is the same even if we're just finding a piece of artwork that we want to use as a foundation for our design. So once we have our vector artwork done, then uh, we would go ahead and add stones to it. Now, there's a good deal of the time that I would not actually convert something into a vector form first. Um, it really depends on the design I'm working on. And, you know, we have many, many examples where we don't convert into a vector file. However, with this particular design, it's actually going to help us to some degree if we convert this into a vector file first. Um, so it's interesting if we look at this design, you know, it's a basic cowboy shape. Um, so certainly, I mean, this is just get to give us an idea of the shape that we want. We're not going to worry about the text because I already have a Western style font that I can use for the cowgirl up. So my focus is going to be just really just on the shape of the hat. Um, and it's very, very easy to create this shape using uh, just a couple of basic tools here in CorelDRAW. And that's really the best way to go. So the first thing we want to do, I, I usually do, is I'll take my bitmap here and come into Easy Stone and hit Set Size and click on the left side of my hat and the right side of my hat and set the width of my hat. So in this case, I'm going to make a 9-inch hat. Uh, you wouldn't have to do that necessarily. It's just something I'll do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lock our image so we can't move our bitmap. And then we're going to grab our three-point curve tool and just begin our design process. So what I usually do is just take a one point, two point. Nope, oh, grab the wrong tool. We need our three-point curve tool, and you go one point, two point, and that becomes our third point. Let's give this a color and a thickness just so you can see it better what we're doing here let's maybe do a hot pink there we go now we can see what we're doing so with our three-point curve tool still selected we're just going to continue on and who knows you know uh, we may want to do something with this vector artwork at a later point so you know it, it's not too uh, much of a waste of time just to come in here and create this quick a minute all right, so now we have our first piece of our hat. So that we're going to obviously fill in that shape, and then we're going to keep going here. So we're going to just keep going around. And initially when you're doing our artwork, it does not need to be perfect. So just kind of keep that in mind too. You know, it's, we're just kind of using this as a guide more than anything. Okay, so that takes care of that. And now we want to do our hat piece. This hat kind of comes in a little bit there. And we'll come down and touch this one. Let's go ahead and set its thickness and its color. If you have nothing selected and you set your thickness and your color, then when you draw a new line, it'll have that thickness and color. So that's a better way probably of working. Get your color set however you want it. Okay. Now, in the original artwork, it actually looks like these lines that I just created... Um, we'll take another look, but it actually looks like they made those in SS16s, which I really don't know why. And then the rest of it seems to be done in SS10s. So um, I probably would, I might do all the crystal in 10s and do the black areas, do those in uh, SS6s just so I could cut this in one template. I think that, honestly, uh, to me, that would probably be more prudent. Um, 
you know, I always think of when I'm creating designs, ways to cut corners on templates and what have you. So that's probably what I would do if I were creating this des design. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to come in here and you don't have to do this, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of create some lines just to give me an idea. You know, I don't know how close, uh, you know, you necessarily want your design to be. When, when you see a design that you like, um, you probably want it something similar to uh, what you saw. So what I do is I'm just kind of just drawing in some lines as a guide to, to understand how my uh, stripes are going to be. That's, that's what I'm going to do here. So I just want to give you some insight as to how I would tackle a design like this. And because I have an idea, a different idea, I think I am going to do all my black and sixes. So I could cut this in one template versus two. So you can see I just drew in some lines to kind of guide me. And you know what I might do here? just to further guide me is let's take all of our lines that represent crystal and let's change those to a different color and so let's go ahead and add one more here so I know now that this line all my green lines are my crystal and all my pink lines uh, are my black as far as my fill goes and so yeah, we're just kind of creating just a rough guide of how how this uh, is all laid out. And you know, you'll spend I don't know ten minutes creating this kind of rough draft here. Not a big deal. And you know, it's a rough draft, so it doesn't have to be too true to the original um, we're just kind of laying some guidelines down so we can get a feel for what we want and then in a separate video we'll, we'll really focus on adding the stones to this and then you'll have a really good understanding of everything that we have to go through to be able to produce a really nice design for you. So now the intermediate uh, pink lines here will be kind of what is going to represent black. All of our black SS6 stones. So yeah, you spend 10 minutes or so getting the foundation of your design and then you should have something alright so that's a pretty good foundation and the nice thing about this is now that we have this foundation you can um, you know, we can add stones to it, we can resize it, you know, you can do all kinds of things to it. But this will give us a nice base to create our rhinestone design from. Now, if I wanted to, you see how it's kind of, you know, a little bit lumpy here and there. What I could do is I could come in here and try and smooth this out a bit. I'm just adding a node to either side. Anytime there's a little bump there, I just add a node to either side. And then delete, double click to delete that one. And you can see it kind of just smooth itself out. So you just add a node, add a node. It'll smooth itself out in between those two just by double clicking. You can see that smooth that all out. So anytime you see that right here, same thing. Just add a node, add a node, double click. It'll smooth itself right out. A little pointy right there. Just try double clicking, smooth itself out. Same thing here, a little pointy right there. So let's just add a node. And one back over here. Delete this one. 
See there? It smooths itself out. Like I said, not that it's really necessary. You can also right click on a node and choose smooth as well. So again, not necessary that you smooth that all out because when you add rhinestones to it, it won't really matter. But I'll show you just a real fun little quick design we could do. Let's uh let's come in here and let's delete all of those little lines that we created. Let's come out here. There we go. So we're going to just delete all of these lines. In fact, let's just select everything and then deselect this one. There we go. Sometimes you just got to think about how you're making your selections. It's easier to select the whole thing and then remove a couple of uh, pieces and then hit your delete key, undo, and see what else you have to deselect. And then hit your delete key. All right, we're getting closer. Hit your delete key. There we go. So now we've gotten rid of all of that. So if you want to just make a, just a fun, uh, quick design here, our hat is uh, roughly 9 inches. Let's add a little bit of thickness. So right now we're at 2 millimeters. So let's maybe, uh, let's, go, let's go 4 millimeters for this example. So we'll add 4, we'll give a thickness of 4 millimeters. We're going to convert this to curves, and then we're going to fill in these areas, and then we're going to select those green areas. So you can see we just have a real basic little, uh, you know, little cowboy hat HTV design. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and we'll uh, let's see here. Let's make it a light gray. And maybe this part will make it pink, for example. And then, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's group this, our, yeah, let's group it together. And let's add a contour to it. Like so. We'll break that contour group apart. Now we do need to smooth this out a bit. You see that right there? Okay. And then let's add some stones to this. So let's just go ahead and set our stones. We'll use hot pink for this example. And we'll hit add stones. And you can see we get a nice little row of stones here. You know what we should try? And I don't know if it'll work very well for this design, but let's try it. Let's make this design about six inches. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the contour like we did previously. Like so. Let's go ahead and edit this point as needed. And let's delete that node and this one. That'll smooth that out a little bit. And then let's go over to our stone fill tab. And let's offset about, I don't know, six to eight times the outside. So we're going to right click. And you see what we get? We get offset, 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 offset. What if we were to add stones to all of those? So I'm just going to hold down my Alt key and select all those paths. And then let's go ahead and let's change our stone color. Um, let's change it to crystal. SS10 stones. And let's hit add stones. And you can see what it does is it adds stones to everything like we would expect it to. So that's cool. Um, what I want to do with this out with this outline right here, I'm just going to bring it in just a little bit. So let me just undo that. So we're just going to make it offset just a little bit. Let's give it a different color so we can see it. So you can see it was very, very minimal change that I made there but I do want to make a little bit of a change so we're gonna come over here and we're going to break our contour group so let's select that and we're gonna delete the orange one and we're gonna use this one and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some stones to this uh, this green piece right here but before I do that I'm gonna come in here and select that node because that's a sharp point this is considered a sharp point, so shift 
click on that node, shift click on this node. So what I did is I shift clicked it on those three sharp nodes. And what basically what that's going to do is it's going to tell Easy Stone I definitely 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 want a stone put right here and we're gonna make those hot pink and we're gonna make those SS 16s and when we hit add stones you can see it added those stones around there and you can see right there at those sharp points we have stones now what we want to do here is take this um, this first line here it has a hundred and four stones so we're gonna select all the other ones and change all of those to 104 as well. And we'll hit Add Stones. And it will go ahead and change all those. Now look what we did. Now we made a mess, didn't we? Because we went and added Hot Pink, uh, which we wanted Crystal, and we want SS10s, not SS16s. So sometimes even I jump ahead of myself. So let's go ahead and, uh, what do we do? 104, is that what I said? So we'll do 104 stones. And then, so the first one's going to have 104. The next one out is going to have 100. Add stones. The next one is going to have 96. We'll have to see how good my math is. The next one is going to have uh, 92. The next one is going to have 88. I'm just dropping four stones as I go. So the next one's going to have 84. The next one's going to have 80. And the next one's going to have uh, 76. So there's there's no special math there. I, I just, those are just kind of random numbers that I picked, more or less. Um, looking at this, I don't like these big stones that close to my hat so I'm gonna change those to be SS10s so we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and let's see here we'll right click to change our stone color our stone size and let's just hit add stones again but I do need to change my color so now we can go ahead and add stones and add stones and add stones and I actually do like the fact that this has a little bit less spacing um, than the rest so we'll go ahead and leave it like that and we'll go ahead and copy it over um, and then delete our stone paths from the copy and go ahead and throw a weed box around it you know that's kind of a fun little project let's go ahead and add some glitter uh, glitter fill to this just for fun and we'll do pink there and then we will go ahead and let's simulate and throw a watermark on it and see what it kind of looks like there so that is the finished design um, and yeah I'm happy with it so you can see how we can kind of play with things once we uh, get our and that is one advantage to taking a little bit of time with our vector artwork, you know, we spent about 10 minutes creating that, and then we spent another 10 minutes actually creating this design, but it's just kind of a fun little design. Um, but at least it'll get you started, and then we'll actually go ahead and make the, the zebra portion of the hat. It's just as easy. There's just, you know, a, a, a method and a process that we have to go through. So anyhow, um, maybe that will give you some pointers on how to get that first step out of the way, which is getting the, getting the hat created. Um, and then, you know, some of the different things that we can do with that. Thanks for watching.